All right. Okay, so our first session of the day is called Reinvent. And to kick things off, I'm gonna tell y'all a little story about my own reinvention. So right now I'm in front of you, Ronald Young Jr., host, uh, cultural commentator, audio producer. But not long ago, I was Ronald Young Jr. who worked in IT. Uh, so I wanna share with y'all four steps that I took to reinvent my career. Uh, so in 2012, I was working at a management consulting firm and I hated it. It was absolute garbage. I hate corporate, I hate corporate interactions, I hate climbing the corporate ladder, I hate like email, spreadsheets, all of that. It was not for me. Uh, so I had to get out of there. And when I had just graduated college, I at first was an intern at a radio station. I was cutting tape, I was board operating, I was feeling great about uh, doing that work, but I got laid off. So when I got laid off, I started doing IT. Uh, this was 2012, so podcasts were just becoming popular. So as I'm doing my work, I decide I'm gonna start listening to podcasts. They're all great, I'm sucked in, I'm immersed. And while I'm listening, I think, I think I could do that. I think I have the skill set for that. That brings me to step one. Start the work. So it took me five years to start my podcast from the time that I started listening to them. And mostly it was because I wanted it to be perfect. It had to be perfect. The sound had to be great. All of it, everything had to be perfect. And that really held me up. So when you're thinking about reinventing yourself, changing careers, any of that, you can't wait for it to be perfect. There's never going to be a perfect time to start. So you just kind of got to start. And what I did was make incremental changes every time. So it's gonna be garbage the first time, it's gonna be garbage minus one the second time, and each time until it's maybe just a little bit better, a little bit more listenable. And that's what I did. I was still working full time in IT, uh, but I was spending all my free time working on my passion, working on producing a podcast. And uh, that brings me to step two, set the timeline. So now it's 2018, and I've been producing my podcast for about a year, and I started you know, kind of making connections around the city and around the, uh, kind of around the nation, and I decided to go to an audio conference. I go to the audio conference, there's all these people working full time in audio production, I'm getting excited. I'm like, wow, you guys are all doing the things that I wanna do, this is, this is fantastic. So uh, I come back to my IT job, and I sit at my desk, and I realize, I, I, again, I've got to get out of here. And so I set a date, by the end of 2020, I'm gonna be working full time in audio production. And what that did in that moment was it, it set up to, it, it all of a sudden made everything around me temporary. All of the corporate interactions, all the things that I hate, I know that this is gonna end. I know that there's an end date, it's the end of the year, 2020, I'm gonna get there. So I feel excited about that. In the meantime, still working on podcasts, still, doing, uh, still trying to build my skill set, still learning as much as I can in order to become a better audio producer. Which brings me to step three. Rename yourself. So here in DC, there's this thing we do where when you meet somebody, you say to them, what do you do? And people would always ask me, what do you do? And I'd say, I'm Ronald, I work in IT, and then a very boring conversation with it. So, so what do you do? You, you know, you spreadsheets? I'm like, yeah, you know. Uh, but I would eventually shift the conversation to my podcast, and I would get excited, like, yeah, you should listen to it, I do this, and the music comes in like this, it was fantastic. And I would get excited, they would get excited, we'd both be like animated, and I was like, you know what? I think this is what I do. I need to stop telling people that I do IT. So when people started asking me the question, what do you do? I said, I'm an audio producer, but my day job is working in IT. It's all about the mindset. So at that point, I had I decided that no longer was I gonna introduce myself, and what that did was, it kind of opened up my mind to describing who I was, and it was telling other people also who I was. It was funny because there were even some people who didn't realize I was still full-time work at IT, they'd be like, oh, audio producer. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's true, you believe it, right? So do I, everyone else will too. So that brings me, and so, and this is uh, 2019. So in 2019, I'm getting a lot of momentum. I started my second podcast. I started working on the story podcast. Check them out. They have an exhibit uh, uh, over there next door. I started working on their podcast. Started working on real solid resume. I got a lot of momentum behind me, but I'm still working full time in IT. And that brings me to step four: don't resist the momentum. So here it is, top of 2020, January 2020, January. 2020. And I'm like, yeah, man, the, the, the world is my oyster. This is the year. My deadline is coming. I'm going to make it. It's going to be fantastic. I can't wait. And, you know, got all this momentum. But the one thing I'm thinking is, 
Ronald, how are you going to make this transition? How are you actually going to change? You have a full-time job with benefits. Like, you work here. You're good. You're just going to go be a freelance audio producer? That doesn't make any sense. How are you going to make that change? And I just assume, eh, it'll, well, it'll all work out. It sure did. March, the pandemic worked itself right out into all of our lives. And at that point, I'm like, oh, no, I can't. There's no way in the world. There's no way in the world I could switch now. I got a good job. I got to stay here. I got to shift the timeline. You know, I'll just keep getting momentum. We'll, we'll figure out how to get there. And in June 2020, I lost my job. I lost my job. And at that point, all of the momentum, everything, losing my job, all the audio stuff, all of that felt like it was pushing me off a cliff. And the thing about falling is when you try to stop yourself from falling, you almost make it worse sometimes. And rather than try to stop myself from being pushed off this cliff, I made a decision to take a leap of faith. And I called some audio conference friends, I called a couple of people I knew, and you know they got me some leads. At about a month, I booked two gigs, and I was full-time Ronald Young Jr. audio producer. And this is still in the middle of 2020, so I'm blown away. Uh, and I think what I learned from all of that was in the moments that we're walking towards our dreams, in the moments that we're trying to re reinvent ourselves, when we're trying to make that change, you have to remember no matter what wild things are happening around you, you have to resist the urge to turn around and go back to what's comfortable. And if all of this crazy stuff is happening around you, all these wild things are happening, if you still find yourself facing the direction of your dreams, don't resist the momentum. Just let it carry you forward. So again, start the work, set the timeline, rename yourself, and don't resist the momentum. And because I can only say this once in my life, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Thank you.